Hello, hello, my lovely year two designers. We're going to make a toy like this today. Our first microbe monster. Remember, microbes are germs. And this one is showing how we can get germs on our hands if we don't wash our hands. And we can get rid of them. You see it lifting off if we wash them. So how does that work then? How does that monster, the microbe monster, get off the hand? I know we're using a peg, but why does pressing one end lift up the other? Hmm, I know. I'll get a friend to help me explain. Here's my little friend. Hello, everybody. And my little friend has a problem. She's just told me about it. She's got a giant rock to move. And it's just too heavy for her to move it by herself. She's tried sliding it, but she can't lift it up and she needs to lift it up. What are we going to do? Hmm, we're going to have to be design technologists. We're going to get a log and we can see if we can get it to roll on a log like a wheel. Oh, but hang on, we're still going to have to lift it up onto the log. How about we use a piece of wood over the log oh i know we could make a simple machine called a ramp this is where we can slide it upwards up a ramp that's an idea that's easier now because it's easier to roll the rock than try to lift it up and we could get it up the ramp if you push it but hang on is there a better way still because it's not going up um yeah, how about this? What if our friend stood on the end of this piece of wood? Boink! <gasps> it lifts it right off. Look, I can put my hand underneath. We've done it. We've lifted up the rock. We've used another simple machine. Well done, my friend. High five. Brilliant. You get off now and I'll explain to everyone how it works. Bye! So, we've got ourselves a lever. This is a lever, a simple machine called a lever. And what we have is we have um, our load, our weight we have to lift, and we have a bar. And in the middle, we have what's called a fulcrum. There's our bar going across, which in this case, is a bit of wood. And it's under there. And then this is our fulcrum. And this happens to be a log. It could be anything. It could be another rock. And when we push down on the end of the lever, it lifts the rock into the air. This is a lever. It needs a bar and a fulcrum. And you've seen these before with seesaws, haven't you? Same thing, everybody. A seesaw is a kind of lever. Right, we're going to make our first microbe monster. And we're going to use our peg, which is our lever. And we're going to use a bit of old cardboard. We'll need some scissors, some glue and pens. And we'll need to have that design of the microbe monster we made yesterday. Do you remember on the poster that we made? So I'm just drawing on my microbe monster my naughty germ and I'm adding colour to that just as I designed it yesterday from the poster adding some detail of teeth or yellow teeth I wanted didn't I and I wanted some uh, nice eyes and things. Now I'm drawing the hand. Now the hand needs to be bigger than the microbe monster. And it's just quite simple. You make a C shape and do some sausages on the top. That's what a hand is. And of course, this is a cartoon hand. We're not trying to make it look like real. We're not in art. It doesn't have to be realistic at all. So there we have our hand and our microbe monster, our germ, and we cut them out. Now, important thing about the monster is the bottom of it has to be flat so when I cut it out I'm going to make sure that the monster is flat I've gone all the way round I can make all the top spiky but can you see my bottom bit has to be nice and flat can you see that spiky all over except on that bottom now I'm just cutting out the hand so that the monster has something to land on when we press that peg when we move that lever 
that's the way got our hand and now we are ready to stick it onto our peg so we get some glue and we put it on the underside of the hand because we want it to stick to the bottom and then we get our peg and put it on and then that is already stuck to the bottom now obviously the longer we leave it the better it will stick and then we're going to get our little microbe monster and we're going to stick it on. Now, we've got to be careful not to put it on the metal part, the fulcrum, do you remember? Um, because if we put it on there, um, it might push off. Okay, because that's where it moves. So there we go. We have our hand and we have our monster. And I've got it upside down just to show you how quickly that sticks. And then when we push the end of our lever, we lift it up. Have fun making it. Bye.